gon' stomp by tiptoe Fell a thousand times and still I roll no limp though But I wouldn't trade a thing for what I had I go I do what I need to make it Well, I am out in the outback today And I figured I'd go camping somewhere But figured I'd start it nowhere But anyways, I'm gonna hit some roads here around the lake, just kind of cruise around a little bit, find a camp spot, set up camp and enjoy it. I actually, I don't know if you can see, there's my fishing stuff this time. I didn't forget it like last time. I mean, I did forget it and had to go back home and get it, but I have it. So it's better than last trip. But anyways, I'm just gonna hang out, do some fishing and just kind of enjoy the nice weather. Uh, it's rained all week long which we needed but sun's out today should be a pretty nice day pretty nice night and i'm gonna go see if i can catch some fish and just kind of hang out and enjoy the weekend but let's hit some back roads around the lake and see if we can find a camp spot for tonight mm -hmm.
back here as you can see I've just got a bed don't really have a build out or anything to it got a Alpacool fridge and then I have a blue eddy I think it's the EV 70 that I have I only use it when I'm sitting out here like today I've been here all day so I've running it off of it normally there's a cigarette lighter plug there that I wired straight to the battery um, that way it don't have much voltage loss and I just run it off of the battery under the hood because normally all it's going to do is run at night and I drive enough that it really doesn't matter in the future I am considering because I blocked this bin a little bit I am considering putting this a couple inches higher like maybe up to here on a slide and then underneath have a pull out table so I can cook I really miss having the table that I have on the Jeep now I apologize for any boat noise it's getting in the evening so all the fishermen are headed out but pretty simple setup pretty cheap setup um, the front runner boxes I already had so they fit well in here I got one kitchen box one extra box and then of course the storage on the roof um, did mount a couple of lights up here so it lights up the area if I want to cook or do anything at night I'm trying to do as budget and simple as I can um, some areas that's worked well some things like the roof rack I just had to give in and buy it because it, it's it's a good product and it actually solved a lot of my issues um, this seat I don't typically lay down and I leave my bags and clothes up there if it was going to rain or something I'd probably put the front runner boxes in there as well currently I do leave those outside usually if it's nice or I could stick them inside the car somewhere at night um, with all my camera gear in the front seat though that takes up one of the front seats so but yeah this is my 2020 Outback build I'm slowly getting it where I want it the Jeep I've kind of got everything where I'm happy with it it's quick it's easy I know how I'm gonna do things um, the Outback I, I need to get some more trips under me but so far I've been happy with it and pretty happy with how I have things set up you know just minor changes each trip so far the only thing I haven't figured out is how I like to get in and out of bed it's it's honestly kind of embarrassing to watch me do it because I just kind of stumble in I usually get in the side door throw my shoes underneath and crawl in um, getting in back here is an option but because of bugs and stuff and rain I don't usually leave this open I don't have a tent or nothing it's so windy in Oklahoma I don't know how well I like anything like that so it usually just stays closed I have considered because I've seen some people get in the back seat and then crawl into bed I like that idea but since that's where my clothes bags usually at that don't work well but it's one of those things you just after several trips you get it figured out and you find a way you like it and that's the way you go now time for cooking with jared with your host jared
this is how I cook fajitas sometimes when I'm camping to cheat. Just cut up some onion bell pepper, a little seasoning, a little oil to cook, and then the bags of chicken or steak from Walmart that's already seasoned for fajitas. Big old pieces. That way you don't have to worry about the chicken not being cooked because it's pre-cooked. And then basically I let the onions cook down to where they're almost translucent. Or the onions and bell pepper rather. And then add the chicken in just to kind of warm it up there at the end, cook it a little bit. Break up some of these big pieces. There we go. Now we're talking. Simple, it's easy, it tastes good. That's how I do my overland fajitas. Now, of course, if I have the griddle and stuff, I'll do raw chicken and actually cook it. But this is hard to beat. If you take your package, you can get a few trips out of the meat usually. I'll mix steak and chicken sometimes. Good stuff. You might hear some kids going, whoa! Saved it. I didn't save that. I didn't save that. You might hear some kids off in the background. There's a family that got here and is fishing around the bend. And make up some good old fajitas. Get a few out to Get my Instagram picture. It's time for a step two and eat some food. I tell you, I am definitely missing a table on the back of my rig. We'll have to figure that one out. Simple but delicious. Well, I'm going to get off here, finish eating, let the sun set a little bit. Probably fly the drone and I'll check back in with y'all in a little bit. Breath. 
night at camp and I just hung out by the fire. It's always nice to get away and enjoy these little trips. I want to say thank you to those that continue to support me on this journey. Whether it's just liking and commenting and sharing my posts and those that support me on Patreon. I really do appreciate all the support. And remember, there's still another mile left to explore. I'll see you on the trail.